the progression of him trying to defend. Right? And then we're just going to end up right back in that kind of close, more close quarters. Um, what's your name? Riley. Riley? Yeah. All right. Let me get you a bit of sweatshirt. Right? Yeah, boy. Kids these days. All right. Um, you can bring him up. I get it. I get it. Man. All right. So he was real close. He was paired in the head and he was here. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Do I have an angle? Do I have an angle? Are my feet set? Is this guy in the best position to defend? So is that wrong? No, now you're close. All right? But can I fake from there? Does a fake feel like it's real effective there? If I'm here with Jake and I, 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 I try to level fake, is that real effective? So again, we've got to figure out what to plug in where. If I'm close, does a fake work? All right? If I'm too far away, if, I, if he's standing there and I'm standing here, ha, 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 ha. you see it, you see it, right? As opposed to, uh-huh, uh-huh, right? So now this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pair the head, I'm gonna circle. A lot of times you're gonna start coasting with the arm that I'm trying to circle that side too, because he feels the angle slipping, right? So I'm pairing the head as I, as I, yeah, right there. I'm pressuring the head, he's pressuring my arm. What do you think I should do? Post or chop? Chop. Okay, so if I chop, where does the arm go? Yeah. It goes down. If I shoot and the arm's down, is that more defense or less defense? Oh. So where should I go? Chop or post? Oh. Is that pressure release? Yeah. He's pushing, right? He's leaning. He's fighting back into me. Okay? And a lot of this stuff, man, we're just reading reactions. I might not go into like, no pair of head circle, he's gonna post. I'm gonna just look like Brett Metcalf. Ugh! Post high cops, right? Looking like a genius. He might never post on me. But again, that's why we get this practice room. We go through every scenario this guy might give us. And you know why we're doing this drill? Because I just saw his partner doing it, and I was like, oh, he's blocking. We post. That's pressure release. We haven't done post yet. No credit for you guys. I'll edit this part out. But, here's what I'm telling you. That's what we do as coaches. We watch you guys work, and then we say, oh, that's what we're doing. Let's refine this. All right? And you know what you guys can do? How long are you Three days, ten years? Your whole life, right? You probably know more wrestling than you have a clue what you know. Right? You guys don't give yourself enough credit for how much wrestling you know. All right? Trust your instincts. Play. Break the rules. Think outside the box. That's the biggest problem with just the world in general right now. Man, it's easy to stay home and comfortable. When you think outside the box, when you take those chances, when, you, when you're not afraid to break the rules, man. When you're not afraid to say, hey, a, a high school kid gave me the idea for a great drill today. I don't care. That's not any, that's not any knock on me as a coach. So we're going to go out one more time. He's going to post because he feels the angle being sold. He's got to get something in between. Pressure. Behind the elbow. Okay? You watch Coach Martin, the head coach at ODU. He's high in the armpit. Okay? I just want you behind the elbow. I don't care how far you go behind the elbow. All right? And watch my back foot when I pair. Angle, angle. Feel that pose? Right there. Maybe I go back leg. All right? Maybe I just take my arm instead of high crotch. It goes to the back leg double. Play there. Go. Oh. 